Hello everyone, welcome to X Dynamo. In this video, we will discuss about kinematic analysis of 4 bar mechanism using MATLAB. 4 bar mechanism is one of the simplest mechanisms. It involves 4 links connected by Revola joints. AD is the fixed link, AB is the input link, BC is the coupler link, and CD is the output link. Kinematic analysis involves position analysis, velocity analysis, and acceleration analysis. Position analysis. In position analysis, we will find out the orientation of each link relative to the fixed link for a given configuration of four bar mechanism. The length of the links and angle made by the link 2, that is the angle theta 2, are the inputs needed for the position analysis. The angles theta 3 and theta 4 are the outputs. We will use loop closure method for position analysis. Starting from the point D, the length of each link is expressed in the horizontal and vertical components in terms of I and J. As the loop ABCD is a closed loop, using loop closure method, we can equate the sum of the horizontal components to zero. Also the sum of vertical components is also zero. So we have two equations with two unknowns. But these equations are nonlinear and they cannot be solved directly. We will use the newton raphson method to solve these equations. newton raphson method is an iterative process. First, we will take an initial guess of the unknown variables. This is called as initial solution. Then the method keeps on doing iterations till the solution converges. Here is the formula used in newton raphson method to calculate the values of unknown variables in each iteration. Delta x is the difference of value x in each iteration. In matrix form, the newton raphson method gives this equation. Here is the matrix form of newton raphson method in terms of theta 3 and theta 4. The derivatives of functions f1 and f2 are substituted in this equation. Let us discuss the MATLAB code. Here are the inputs needed for position analysis. The lengths of all the links and the input crank angle are to be provided in the inputs. As we already discussed, here is the equation of newton raphson method. We have to provide the initial solution of theta 3 and theta 4. These initial values can be a guess. The solution converges quickly if the initial solution is closer to the actual solution. The variable iter counts the number of iterations. SOL is the solution matrix. We have to use a while loop with the condition of maximum number of iterations to be solved. This is the equation F derived from the loop closure equation. DF is the matrix of the derivatives of function F used in the newton raphson method. The solution is updated in each iteration. Solution in current iteration equals to solution of previous iteration minus inverse of df matrix multiplied by f. In each loop, the value of iteration counter is increased by 1. Finally, here are the values of theta 3 and theta 4. Let us consider an example. Here are the lengths of different links and the angle theta 2. Based on random guess, the initial values are taken as 20 and 70 degrees. Take the number of iterations as 1000 and solve this. The values of theta 3 and theta 4 are obtained as 10.28 and 100.35 degrees. So we are done with position analysis. Now we will discuss how to do velocity analysis. The relative velocity of a rotating link is the cross product of angular velocity, omega, and position vector. Velocity of point B is equal to omega 2k cross RAB. Velocity of point C is VB plus omega 3k cross RBC. Also the velocity VC is equal to omega 4k cross RDC. As VC1 and VC2 represents the velocity of point C, then VC1 equals to VC2. Therefore solving the equation of VC1 minus VC2 equals to zero, provides the values of angular velocities, omega 3 and omega 4. The outputs of velocity analysis are omega 3, omega 4, VB, and VC. Here is the MATLAB code for velocity analysis. Omega 2 is the angular velocity of input link 2 in radians per second. Angular velocity in counterclockwise direction is considered as positive. 
The position vector is expressed as a row matrix of x, y and z components. x component is L cos theta, y component is L sine theta and z component is 0. Here are, the position vectors are AB, RBC, and RDC. These are divided by 1000 to express the length in meters. K is the unit vector in z direction. VB equals to omega 2 times cross product of K and RAB. Magnitude of velocity B is calculated using norm command. Let us create the variables omega 3 and omega 4 using sims command. Here are the equations of VC1 and VC2. Equation velocity equals 2, VC1 minus VC2 equals to 0. Solve the equation velocity for omega 3 and omega 4. The command double is used to give the output in decimal format. The velocity of point C is obtained by substituting the value of omega 4 in the equation of VC2. The magnitude of velocity C is obtained using norm command. Now we will discuss the acceleration analysis. Consider a link AB rotating with angular velocity omega 2 and angular acceleration alpha 2. For a rotating link, there will be two components of acceleration. The radial component of acceleration acts along the link towards the center of rotation. Radial acceleration is equals to omega 2 square times RAB. The tangential acceleration acts perpendicular to the link in the direction of angular acceleration alpha. Tangential acceleration is equal to cross product of alpha 2 and RAB. The acceleration of point B is given by the vector sum of radial and tangential accelerations. Acceleration of point B is equal to alpha 2 times k cross RAB minus omega 2 square RAB. Acceleration of point C equal to AB plus alpha 3 times k cross RBC minus omega 3 square RBC. Also the acceleration of point C is equal to alpha 4 times k cross RDC minus omega 4 square RDC. As AC1 and AC2 represents the acceleration of point C, then AC1 equals to AC2. Therefore solving the equation of AC1 minus AC2 equals to 0 provides the values of angular accelerations alpha 3 and alpha 4. The outputs of acceleration analysis are alpha 3, alpha 4, AB and AC. Here is the MATLAB code for acceleration analysis. Alpha 2 is the angular acceleration of input link 2 in radians per second square. Angular acceleration in counterclockwise direction is considered as positive. Acceleration of point B equals to alpha 2 times cross product of K and RAB minus omega 2 squared times RAB. This is the magnitude of AB using norm command. Let's us define symbolic variables alpha 3 and alpha 4. This allows us to proceed with the calculations without knowing the values of alpha 3 and alpha 4. Here are the equations of AC1 and AC2 which we already discussed. Equation acceleration equal to AC1 minus AC2 equals to 0. Solve the equation acceleration for alpha 3 and alpha 4. The acceleration of point C is obtained by substituting the value of alpha 4 in the equation of AC2. The magnitude of acceleration C is obtained using norm command. It's time to test the code. Let us go with same example of four bar mechanism we considered for position analysis. Just provide the lengths of all the links in theta 2 to define the configuration of mechanism. Provide an initial solution for newton raphson method. Take the value of omega 2 as 10.5 radians per second. Then provide the value of alpha 2. In this example, alpha 2 is taken as minus 26 radians per second square. And that's it. Just run the program, and we are done with kinematic analysis of a 4 bar mechanism. Here are the values of theta 3 and theta 4. In velocity analysis, we get the values of velocity of point B, omega 3, omega 4, and velocity of point C. In acceleration analysis, we get the values of acceleration of point B, alpha 3, alpha 4 and acceleration of point C. This code is simple, interactive, and easy to understand. Hope you like this video. Why late?
Download the MATLAB code from the GitHub link given in the description. Take few examples and see how it works. Thank you for watching. If you have any queries and suggestions, please type them in the comments section. That's all for this video. If you get value from this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to XDynamo.